Ah, Neil Armstrong, a name known by everyone today for being the first man to step foot on the moon. Traveling the world here on Earth is one thing, but going to the moon, that's literally an idea out of this world. But did you know that the Apollo 11 mission carrying Neil Armstrong almost didn't happen? The Apollo 11 crew was an assembly of the finest astronauts of their time. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins. They were about to embark on mankind's greatest journey, but the path to glory wasn't as smooth as the world perceived. In the lead up to the launch, the mission faced a plethora of issues. The lunar module Eagle was initially overweight. There were navigation system failures, issues with spacesuit testing and concerns about the module's ability to withstand the moon's extreme conditions. Finally, D-Day arrived, July 16th, 1969, as 650 million people watched with their breaths held, Apollo 11 lifted off from Kennedy Space Center, a moment of triumph for NASA. But the real challenge was yet to come. It took off, but will it land? After 102 hours of flying, providing TV transmissions for the curious and hopeful ones back on Earth, and orbiting around the moon, it was time to descend. Hearts pumping and minds full of excitement and chaos, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins and Buzz Aldrin had to focus because they were on the most important mission not just of their own lives but for all of humanity. As the eagle descended, with only a few minutes of fuel left, the alarms began to ring. And no, these weren't the low fuel warnings you see in your cars. It was because the computer had shut down and recycled five times because of multiple data overloads. This is more adrenaline pumping than any sci-fi movie you've ever seen. With the computer malfunctioning, the only way to complete the descent was manual control. Neil Armstrong, the commander of the mission, took manual control of the spacecraft and skillfully landed it. His famous words, As one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Echoed across the globe. They marked a monumental achievement in human exploration, a moment that would forever be etched in our memories. But were their challenges over yet? As uncertain and dreadful as the descent was, Armstrong, Aldrin and Collins knew that the ascent was now close to impossible. As they were preparing for their return back home, they noticed something that filled them with terror and panic. A circuit breaker switch broke off from the instrumental panel. Aldrin looked at the rows of the breakers on the instrumental panel and gasped hard. This was an important breaker needed to send electrical power to help lift the engine for ascent. They reported it to Mission Control and followed the good old solution of sleeping it off. But the next morning didn't bring any good news. Aldrin used a felt tip pen from his pocket and tried his best to place the breaker back. And guess what? It freaking worked! So folks, always carry a felt tip pen. It is literally what made the mission to the moon and back possible. But wait, the story doesn't end here. It takes a dark turn. With mission control aware of the breaker being out of place, they knew that the astronauts had a slim chance. It was almost certain that with the breaker, Neil and Buzz would be stranded on the moon and slowly choke as the oxygen ran out. And NASA's mission control has no space for emotions in such situations. They were already ready with a morbid plan. If the stranded predictions were to come true, mission control would close down all communications with the astronauts. They would then host a public memorial parallel to a burial at sea. The president was asked to be ready to make calls to the astronauts' families and Nixon had pre-drafted a speech already. Sounds sort of twisted, I know, but it's just protocol. 
as an astronaut willingly taking up this mission, you sign up for all the wins and the potential losses that come with it. At the end of it all, while NASA had this morbid plan in place, they also trained their team well enough to work through this impossible scenario and return safe and successful. Hooray! And a huge bow to Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins and Buzz Aldrin. So, let us celebrate the courage, resilience and audacity of those who dared to reach for the stars. The unheard parts of the Apollo 11 mission remind us that nothing great ever comes easy. And while this one was a successful one, the distressing and sad story of the Pan Am Flight 759 wasn't. With passengers and crew members tossed around like rag dolls, it was definitely worse than you can imagine. Don't forget to subscribe to Behind the Date where we dive into the fascinating stories behind each special day. I'm off to the airport. I'll see you on board Pan Am Flight 759.